Hi there, my name is James Gladfelder and this is the talk I gave at Ignite Zurich the other day. It's called Fabricating Reality. Enjoy. Supposedly clever people have been saying things like the more you know the less you understand. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Those who feel certainty are stupid and those with any imagination and understanding are filled with doubt. But wait, isn't this really silly? I mean, just look out of the window and you find an objective reality. We have amazing technology like smartphones and a rover on Mars. So, what's wrong? Well, on closer inspection, the problem is threefold. Science, reality and the mind are plagued by deep puzzles. Okay, so let's start by looking at a big chunk of physics describing the micro and macro cosmos. You take a symmetry principle and express it in the language of a mathematical theory. This gives you the standard model of particle physics on the left and the theory of gravity on the right. So, this is really great. Unfortunately, they won't fit together. There is no theory of quantum gravity. This has been the focus of string M theory for decades. And apart from producing a lot of math, it's still all very inconclusive. I don't know if it's meaningful to ask why there's something rather than nothing, but questions like where is the Higgs particle are important. Its absence is a bit embarrassing, as it is a cornerstone of the standard model. Science can be understood as a mapping from reality to mathematics, but maths also has foundational problems. If an axiomatic system can be proven to be consistent from within itself, then it is inconsistent, Gödel proved. And what about laws of nature? Well, easy. You do some observations and experiments, some logical thinking, and voila, you have the law. However, the philosophy of science shows this cannot be justified. Induction and deduction both fail. There is no logical path to these laws. Only intuition can reach them. Fundamentally, we do not know why our theories work so well. People have begun to think that knowledge is maybe constructed, then perhaps it is culture rather than nature that dictates the content of scientific theories. All of this points to postmodernism, where there is no single truth, a great plasticity and constant change of reality and knowledge, and no foundation. Really? Okay, the last three quotes did come from Nobel Prize winners in physics, but still, maybe they just started to lose the grip on reality. So, what about reality? Well, turns out quantum reality is a bizarre place. Everything has both wave and particle properties. Entanglement says observing something here instantaneously affects something over there. And there's a limit, an uncertainty, to how much can be known. The flow of time depends on how fast you're moving and how strong gravity is. And we have no idea what most of the universe is made of. It's a black box. Changing f the values of fundamental constants breaks the universe. They're fine-tuned. And look around. We see structure everywhere. Self-organizing principles at work. Emergent properties where the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Okay, so what about the mind? Well, to start with, perception is not what we thought it was. You're not perceiving what's out there. You're perceiving what your brain is telling you. Instead of reality being passively recorded by the brain, it's actively constructed by it. A neuroscientist recently said, the conscious mind is not at the center of the action in the brain. Instead, it is far out on a distant edge, hearing but whispers of the activity. Each individual believes his way is reality. Behavioral economists keep showing how irrational we are. Pain and pleasure depend on expectations. Beliefs and morals depend on what molecules are in the brain. And psychopathology has been naming all the many things that can go wrong in the mind. So what can I know? Just because I believe something, just because I think it's true, doesn't mean it is true. Everything I just said could be wrong. I find these ideas quite liberating and the possible outlook exciting. Like information being the deepest level of reality. Information is physical. All things physical are information theoretic. In fact, the universe is indistinguishable from a quantum computer. Seth Lloyd actually proved that statement. Finally, most radically, this is a participatory universe.
Nature's reality is not merely phenomenal, nor is it independent and objective. Rather, it is something that comes into being through the very act of human cognition. Can the mind be fabricating reality? Thank you.